Obadiah verse 15. For the day of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, is upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here, fair bear. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, I mean, y'all in love with these here. What did the scripture say right here? These heathen nations are going head first in the captivity. Then you got um you got guys that have been around for a long time. Some of the heathens are gonna you no know, sin of uh, being the kingdom of heaven, um, pretty much ruling with us. That's pretty much what, what they're saying. What is the scripture saying though? Get leave your emotions out of the sifter. The sifter. See, we gotta constantly re remind ourselves each and every day. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh guess what? They don't need us. We need them. And then guys be trying to go too deep. They don't want to be deep. They want to be too deep. And that's saying, no, you ain't no drowning. You ain't no bugging the hell out, man. All these heathen nations are going head first into captivity, so called white man, Chinese, Japanese, Arab, musty armpit smelling herbs, the duty eating Africans, which we're not. Uh, who else? Um, the Hawaiians. Whoever I didn't name, nine Israelites are going head first into captivity for a thousand long, drawn out years. And, and it don't matter what nobody say. It's thus said the Lord, that said the Bible. Let's get this again. Some still um, pictures from my community. Little thing that I posted up. Obadiah. Uh, it's only one chapter, verse 15. For the you, you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you got a fascination with these heathens, man, especially slaves of Eve. You don't want to rule. You, you got the mindset of you, no, no, no kingly ship at whatsoever. If if Sleazy E can't rule with you, then you don't want to rule. It, it just, it's just madness. That Stockholm syndrome. It's either you sold out. I mean, Jake got Stockholm syndrome. Just, and it got spirits on him. Anytime the Bible say one thing, you say the opposite. These heathens are going head first into captivity, man. Bear, bear with me. All these people right here, you see the picture on this sign. You see that 12 tribes of Israel sign? Uh, every last tribe has an infatuation with the heathen nations, man. Straight up, man. Starting off with sleazy. You see it, man. All the way down to Israel, the so-called Mexicans. Starting off with the so-called blacks, you know what I'm saying? Up at the top, going all the way back down to so-called Mexicanos. You, you see it, man. All 12 tribes got a got an infatuation with the heathens, man. Straight up, man. They don't want to, if the heathens can't rule with them, they don't want to rule. The, these daughter Israelites are going to be deleted on this side. And they're going to come back. They're going to come back in the kingdom in their right state of mind. But, but right now, the Lord had to take them out, man. Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh shot by way of the angels, got to take them out, man. Obadiah, um, one chapter, once again, verse 15. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh shot. And like I said before, these are steel frames. It's upon all the heathens. What part of that don't y'all people get? It's upon all the heathen. As thou has done, it shall be done unto thee. Remember what goes around, comes around. You do dirt, you get dirt. You receive dirt, thy reward, thy reward shall return upon thine own head, man. Let's keep going. I want to bring this out. Look, Leviticus, look, this, coming straight out of the Bible now. Leviticus 25, 44. Both thy bond men, slave men, and thy bond maids, slave women, which thou shalt have, meaning which we shall own, which we shall possess, shall be of the heathen that are round about your little Old Testament, New Testament. It's all one book, man. All right. The Bible says what it says. All right. And the Lord changes of night. These heathens are going ahead for us. And to catch it, Leviticus 25, 44. You ain't nobody getting around that. The cho you mean to tell me the chosen people of the Lord, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they're going to go here first into captivity upon all these heathens, but the heathens are not going to go into captivity upon us in the kingdom of heaven. Once again, re reprobate. The Lord didn't gave no sin. Um, men, no sin. Re reprobate spirits, man. To put the spirit of reprobate on them. And, 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 and it's scary at the same time. Once again, this is what happens when you try to be too damn deep. You be too deep for your own self, you end up drowning. These are living waters. 
Dude, this is food, food for thought. And anytime you try to eat too much, you end up vomiting up. That's just like any food, any plate of food that you have. You got to eat a little bit of this. You got to eat a little bit of that. You got to eat a little bit of that. You can't just take the plate of food, you know what I'm saying, open up your mouth, you know what I'm saying, lean your head back. You can't lean your head back with the plate of food and just shove all the food in your mouth at one time. And not, not uh, you ain't digesting nothing. You ain't burping. You ain't sipping no water. You ain't, you know, do you know, bugging out. Start trying to be too deep. The Lord end up putting up putting a, a deep demon on you. So when you end up going too deep, end up drowning. That's thing you know. You, you end up um, bugging yourself out. Now, now, you, now you teaching them saying that the heathens no saying gonna, gonna rule. Ain't gonna be sitting on thrones and things of that nature. No, man. These heathens are going head first into captivity for a thousand long drawn out years. And then slaves to eat, Esau eat them. The Edomites, they're going to be eradicated from off the face of the earth. And these other heathen nations, they're going to receive some mercy after they serve us for a thousand long drawn out years. Then they're going to receive some land. But before they receive that land, they're going to serve the Hebrew Israelites for a thousand long drawn out years. A, a, a thousand years, a long thousand drawn out years. Leviticus 25, 44, just something quick too. Get your emotions out of this thing of ours. Don't bring your emotions. When it, look, look, uh, we'll say um, to them that the rest against judgment, they fight against the judgment of the Lord. You got Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans that are disposed to know the scriptures actually fighting against the judgments of Yahweh, Bahashim. I'm sure this is called judgment. Leviticus 25, 44, both thy bondmen and thy bondmaid, slave men, slave women, which thou shalt have, which we shall possess, aka own, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. What part of that don't you understand? What, what, what else? You, you, you see the picture. Your time is almost up, sleep. E, you see it. You see, you see Martin. You see Martin up there. Come on now. Let's see what else I wanted. Um, Ezekiel twenty five fourteen, and it reads, "And I will lay my vengeance upon Eden." What part of that don't you Israelites understand? You got guys that used to be part of Great Millstone. Now they're teaching that the heathens can make it, man. Now they're te teaching that the heathens, no saying, are going to be saved and sit on thrones and things of that nature. Like, like they, they, they're saying the heathens going to receive, you know what I'm saying, the blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They're going to get spiritual power. They're going to be flying. All. Have, you, have you lost your mind, man? You're, um, really? That's that's a question that I can answer. Yes. Yes. Ezekiel. And the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. That's why this thing is so scary. One minute you could be bringing it out. Next thing you know, you could bring it out. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And all the next thing you know, the Lord got a bugged out spirit on you, man. And you see it. You see spirits on men that used to be teaching the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible. Now they just, now they just, you know, they they just just. You see, Ezekiel twenty five fourteen. Every morning we wake up all throughout the day. Keep reminding ourselves that Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, don't need us. We got to remind ourselves of that each and every day. The Lord don't need us. The Lord can raise up rocks to teach the 100% truth according to the Bible. The Lord said the contrite spirit and trembleth at my words. You don't add and you don't take away. You don't be sitting somewhere trying to um, do secret counsels of what the scripture says. Well, I, what the apostle says say this, but I think it means this. What do you think, brother? Well, well, what about you? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna think it we're gonna say it mean this, you no know saying secretly then then eventually we're, we're gonna bring it out. Bug us. You you've been have, having that happen all throughout this year. And the year before that, and the year before that, the whole time uh, since I've been finding out the knowledge, guys been doing that. You think guys are sincere, guys are true, but then they be somewhere secretly breaking out scriptures the wrong way around other men. The other men start fighting other men get get bamboozled. You know what I'm saying? Get get down. Uh, what does it say? Um, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So the deceive and the deceive, the, the deceive and the deceiver are the most highs, man. The most highs doing what he's doing, man. It's scary, man. That's why we got to come. Uh, uh, what is it? Psalms 51. I'm quoting some scriptures too. Psalms 51, 10 and 11. Take not that Holy Spirit away from me. The most I take that Rakako Dash away from you, you ain't understanding the scriptures no more. You just winging it, you just butchering the scripture, you just saying anything. And then you then you get to the point to you where you think what you're saying, even though you break it down the scriptures the wrong way, you think what you're saying is the truth. 
Wrong. Wrong. Ezekiel chapter 25. Scary, man. Let us all fear you. How Hashem, Yahushua. These heathen nations are going here first into captivity. Ezekiel 25, 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Esau, Edom, right? And, and that's the thing about it. Jake care more about Esau, Edom, than, saying, than they do their own nation. Going right back to that movie, um, Django. When Samuel Jackson was holding, um, I forgot that dude's name. Y'all know who I'm talking about. When, it, when his master got banged, you know what I'm saying? And his master was about to be the lead, he let out a, um, a cry like a wolf. No, no, no. This is how the majority of the Israel, even men, they're supposed to know the 100% truth according to the Bible. Hooping and hollering over sleazy E. Fighting tooth and nail for sleazy E. Ain't even fighting tooth and nail for their brothers and their sisters, the Hebrew Israelites. Um, yeah, the, um, DiCaprio. DiCaprio, when, well, it was just a movie, Django and DiCaprio, you know what I'm saying? When um, Jamie Foxx banged DiCaprio in the chest and uh, Samuel Jackson went crazy, screaming and hollering. That's how the majority of the Israelites feel, you know what I'm saying? When, when they hear Sleazy E, you know what I'm saying? Mainly him is going into captivity. They hear, you know what I'm saying, that the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arab, the, um, the duty African, they, they don't fight two for nail for him, but they fight two for nail for Sleazy E, because that's who they really talking about, you see? If Sleazy can't rule, they don't want to be ruling either, right? But Ezekiel 25, 14, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. Sl starting out with their elites, the elite banking families, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Offenheimers, the Chicken Groovers, because they're going to be the, the first ones to go head first in the captivity once Babylon's destroyed, right? And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel. You can't get no clearer than that. Just like the just like the heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahushai, used these heathens, you no know saying to, to put us head first in the captivity, and then to put a foot in, in the bottom of our backside. The Lord is going to use the Hebrew Israelites to um, to do um, to do the same thing to them, pretty much. The Lord used these heathens, you no know saying to get at us. The Lord is going to use the Hebrew Israelites to get at these heathens, right? And they shall do in Edom. Look, look, going to Edom specifically, Esau, Edom. You see the so-called white man, woman, and child. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. Because we can't get angry enough and we can't get furious enough, right? So the Lord going to put his spirit on us, right? And this is talking about in the kingdom, right? And they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord, right? But this man going to really catch it on this side too. But, but, but mainly in the kingdom, have them right where we want them. You see, right where the Lord want them, right? What, what, what else we got? There's another scripture I put up here. Let's see. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Like right about now, they're ruling the earth right about now. Rejoice, have all the fun, go on vacations. You see, they stay in the best neighborhoods. They look, look, they own everything. The Lord's telling them to rejoice and be glad. This is their time to rule. O daughter of Edom, a people before us a place, so called white man, woman, and child. You see, it says, um, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, code name for Babylon the Great, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. What's the cup? Slavery. Thou shalt be drunken. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. They're going to drink the dreads of you. And you see what it says. Rejoice. Um, Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Have, have your fun right about now. You're ruling the earth right about now. Have your fun. But next stop is going to be slavery. Bear, bear with me. It's like it's like I, I woke up like two o'clock this morning. I'm saying I um I text myself I text myself a message about the Hebrew Israelites that the guys are supposed to be teaching right. Why are you Israelites still trying to save these heathen? Why 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 man? I woke up like two o'clock this morning. I'm saying the Lord had me text text myself so I wouldn't forget it. Why are you Hebrew Israelite? Why are you um you um the men out there that's supposed to be teaching? The truth according to the Bible. Why are you still trying to save these heathens, man? Why, man? Why are you still trying to save these heathens? These heathens ain't trying to save you. This word is not for them. You can read Leviticus um, uh, 147, 19, 20. Many all throughout the Bible, man. So, I mean, Psalms, Psalms 147, 19 and 20, Leviticus um, 26, 46. All the, this word is for Israel and Israel only. You see? Why are you trying to save these heathens so bad? These heathens ain't thinking about you. These heathens ain't trying to save you. But you just tooth and nail trying to save them and deliver them. When you, when you can't, all right? You can't. Jeremiah chapter 30. You can't save them, man. 
The people that you see depicted on the sign, you can't save these heathen. You see it, man. All the way down to Issachar, the so-called Mexicanos, man. From the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. You can't save these heathens, okay? So just stop it. Well, you keep trying all you want to, but it won't happen, all right? Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that, that devour thee shall be devoured. What, what part of that don't you understand? And all thine adversaries, every one of them, every one of these heathen nations, right? Shall go into captivity, slavery. What part of that don't you understand? I mean, what part of this scripture don't you understand? And you can't change it. The Lord said, My words don't go out void. Everything that we read is going to eventually come to pass. Ain't nobody stopping nothing. You see? Do we stop ourselves from going into captivity? We, uh, it's, a, it's a big fat N-O, right? These words ain't going out void. It's already written already. The most I declared the end from the beginning. What are you talking about? Got men all looking bugged out right about now. Counting, you can see them, them, um, them spirits on them. Counting, it's all dark and they look all bugged out. You you got you got more of that going on with guys. You know what I'm saying are sitting around breaking down scriptures the wrong way. Some of the apostles had it wrong. We 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 got it right. You see, we got we the ones with the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. The apostles got it wrong. The elder bishops got it wrong. No, you got it wrong. You got spirits on you now. The scriptures tell us continue in the things which thou has learned. Well, 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 first it says evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceiving. But it tells us right after that, it tells the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, the teachers, to continue in the things which thou has learned and has been assured of. And knowing of whom thou has learned them from. So we got to be fully persuaded in our own mind. You see? If it's any thought of doubt, no saying up there, no saying you you get sifted out, man. With sifting season never stops. That's why we got to be scared. We got to be terrified of the Lord, man. Once again, I quoted it earlier, Psalms 51, 9, 10, and eleven. Take not thy holy spirit away from me. We we we, we through after that. We have nowhere to go. This word is our, this word got to be our everything. You see. This is all we have is this blessed word is the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. That's all we got. And the brethren. You know, on top of that, the Lord said, I'm looking for the true worshipers anyway. You see? So we constantly pray each and every day that the Lord continue to use us for good. You see? We don't, don't want to be reprobates. You don't want to get this far, man. We right here at the end. And God's bugging. And it's going to be more. That's why we constantly praying to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai that it's not us. You see, once again, the Lord doesn't need us. Wake up every day. Every day we wake up, say, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh I know you don't need me. I need you, Lord. And, and tell Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh that this word is all you have. Because anytime you get, a, you get beside yourself, the, the Lord get rid of you, man. And then you get wor you wax worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And ain't no telling what God's gonna be teaching teaching next. They're gonna they're gonna um I guess um from a great millstone, God's gonna start teaching that the name ain't Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah no more. I guess they're gonna go back to Jebus. You know what I'm saying? The Christ, you know what I'm saying? And all this other nonsense, right? But well, let's get this though, man. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, aka slavery. And they that spoiled thee, they that robbed us, took us, took us of everything that we had. And, and they that spoiled thee shall be a spoil. And they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. All right. And look, look, and, and that's that's it. The Lord, that's said The Bible. It's many other scriptures that I could bring up. Um, let me see what else before I close. Oh man. I read that. I read that. Um, Leviticus twenty five forty four. They they shall be of the heathen, and they tell you in the scriptures, Israel have kept thy precepts, but not the heathens, man. Now these heathens are going to be forced to keep our laws. These heathens are going to be forced. You know it's, look, just like we had to keep um the ways of of slaves and you saw you saw what happened, right? We went in the captivity. Only thing you got to do is go watch um Roots. You saw what happened in the movie Roots. You know what I'm saying? Jake, um, Sleazy E ways had to get beat into Jake. Our ways are gonna have to get beat into these heathens, man. They're not gonna conform to our ways freely. You see? After that thousand long drawn out years, they're gonna act right after that. Sleazy eradicated from off the face of their put into a big bonfire. I might as well just close that. I might as well close that out on that. Go right back to Obadiah. Close it out on that. Let's see. Come on.
So this pair, like he got some sense. It, it, it is mind boggling. You get this far, you know what I'm saying? And you want to help the heathens out. You don't want to help your people out. And, and then, then the main heathen that our people are trying to help out is sleazy. They don't really care about the Arab, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Dahe East Indian, um, the Hawaiian, and who, whoever I didn't name. They care about sleazy. They mainly, you know what I'm saying, standing up for sleazy. Obadiah, like I said before, it's only one chapter. I just want to read one verse. Let's see. Bear with me. Oh, here, here we go. Um, verse 10. Uh, um, Obadiah, it's only one chapter, um, verse 10, right? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. That's talking about sleazy. They're going to be cut off forever, man. Forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Yeah, forever, ever, man. Jumping down to verse 18. This is my last one because I got to go. Obadiah, um, it's only one um, chapter. You know what I'm saying? Verse 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Because remember we read in um, Ezekiel 25 and 14 that he's going to use Israel, you know what I'm saying, to do, to do his bidding. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 18, and reads, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. The southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and the house of Joseph, a flame. Um, Ephraim, you see it right here. Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, uh, you see, you see um, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, and Issachar, they represent the northern kingdom. They represent Joseph, right? That's how I should have did it. And um, Jacob represents Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You, you see it right there, right? It says, um, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau. Esau, Edom, the people that's actually ruling the earth right about now for stubble, all right? A big old bonfire, right? And they shall kindle in them, devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus, has spoken him. So Sleazy is still around, all right? Because this scripture right here hasn't been fulfilled. And if it, if it has been fulfilled, give us the dates. Give us some pictures, you see? But you can't do that, you see? But yeah, I woke up early this morning, like around two some, and, and, and text myself through the spirit of hell. But Shimon Shah, why are you Israelites still trying to save these heathens? Why? Shalom.